Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Well, in this video, we have brought to you one magical solution to one of the most difficult pain points that all photographers face, namely skin retouching. Well, skin retouching has many different ways of solutions. There are presets available which you know you apply and you get rid of the skin blemishes and things like that. And there are this very extensive uh, systematic retouching which involves patch tools and frequency separations and etc. which actually is a very laborious process. The problem with the first one which basically is uh, applying presets is that it really kind of uh, make the skin completely waxy. The skin loses the texture and well of course there are people who likes it. I'm not denying that. If you lose the skin texture it will actually take the life out of the image. The other one, uh, the systematic one is so laborious that probably you know you'll spend days trying to get the perfect retouched skin. Now lots of Puritans I know go by that route and uh, it probably is okay if you want to remain that way but what happens is when you have multiple images, if you have 10s or 20 or 30 images, uh, similar images rather to try and retouch then you are in for a big trouble. That's when retouch for me comes in and offers an AI enabled solution for everything retouching. So since AI is the flavor of the season, we thought we will quickly bring to you one very interesting set of softwares that we came across. They are basically plugins uh, using which you can retouch your skin flawlessly. Well, almost flawlessly in a snap. In Hindi we say chutki mein. So stay with me for the next five to eight minutes and I'm going to take you through the steps using which just three plugins can magically transform your uh, image. So basically all skin related retouching could be done with just three plugins. And interestingly, you can create a set of actions and do a batch processing as well. So let me show you how it is done. Okay, we also have some great offers which retouch for me has offered to us, which in turn we are offering to our subscribers, which is like a big discount on all the products. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll tell you exactly how to do it and also exactly how to avail that discount. So what we're doing is we're going to pick up two, three sample images and I'm going to apply all these filters or rather plugins and show you how simple it is. Like I said, do that corrections in a snap. Now this plugin can be used independently as a standalone software or it can be used as a plugin on your uh, Photoshop, which is what I will recommend you to use because you can actually create a layer on top of a layer and uh, you know have greater control on your image retouching process. So here what we have done is we picked one uh, you know sample where the model skin needs some major attention. Well you can see it and uh, you know how difficult it's almost nightmarish to correct this kind of a skin but not when you work with uh, retouch for me now retouch for me will go and sit in your filter menu and right at the bottom i have three plugins which i want to kind of sample for you i'm going to heal the skin first activate the uh, heal plugin and it opens a small window in front of you and quickly uh, using its AI brain it starts making its corrections. All right now you can actually see that it already done the corrections and here on top you click on original and uh, you will actually see the original like the before and after. Now if you notice here the AI based uh, plugin also has knocked off the bindi. Ek chutki mein sindur bhi uda diya. So you can unerase it 
this is how you pick different sizes of the unerase uh, brush using which you remove it now you can only exclude okay from the mask you cannot include any now uh, I'm click on original the bindi is back all the other uh, blemishes are gone you want to see the original go back and this is the original now this can be added as a smart a layer using which you can work uh, create separate groups and have much greater control in your workflow but here in this case just I just want to kind of demonstrate it to you and plus I'm not a Photoshop expert just for the same reason uh, because it's so laborious I used to always hand it over to an expert anyway in this case let me quickly show it to you how it's done of course in the most simplest form uh, I'm going to apply this it applies that uh, you know that effect or the plugin onto the skin now I'm going to go before you see this and this is after now the next thing that I'm going to do is to do a little bit of dodging and burning to get my you know brightness contrast levels right so go back and retouch and dodge and burn now you have to be a real expert to understand what should be the strength of the brush every time you dodge burn also the, the strokes needs to be really perfect um, and you will require additional tools to do that but here in this case AI decides it now take a look at this take a look at this and let me go to the original okay see the way it is worked dodging and burning is done now it actually has highlighted uh, you know so this is the original it's actually highlighted some areas and also removed some areas you can add more yeah and also probably subtract using this blend tool I'm going to keep it at 100 because I think I like it that way uh, 100 again you can create a layer it's called the soft light layer um, if you're using soft light layer of course it will show you need to have a copy of your original uh, image that you're working on create a soft light layer on top of it and then blend it using soft light I'm not going there I'm going to straight away apply this similarly you have of course you can uh, you know have a much better control here of course it is again uh, knocked off or rather subdued the bindi which I don't like and I want to bring that bindi back so let me use okay so now the bindi is back all right I've applied it now already let me go back to the first image say so from here to here it took me two clicks all that of course in between I was talking that's why you will feel like a couple of minutes have passed otherwise it's just two clicks and the next one is portrait volumes now portrait volumes basically adds more dimensionality to the to the image um, you know it, it actually fine tunes your lighting take a take a look at this the way it has seen so see the way it, okay let me increase the size okay take a look at this original see the way it is it is working now probably slightly overdone the lips but uh, if you work on layers and if you you know upload it as a soft light layer you will be able to control the opacity but uh, here in this case what I'm trying to do is to completely avoid the lips from you know any any such masking so if I remove that okay and take a look at this now this is before and after small you know fine tuning and see the way it has really transformed so let me take a look at this okay see this fantastic let me show you before and after take a look at these two majors the one on the right is before left is after like I said 
three clicks is all that it took to do this correction. I can very safely imagine that this kind of a correction will take probably close to a couple of hours to do that. Uh, of course, AI seems to have eliminated or not touched this small, you know, pimple, which I may have to physically remove using a patch tool. I'm done. Take a look at another image. This time, let's uh, take a look at a man's face. Okay, so here we go. Madhav is a, a friend of Pixel Village. Uh, he obliges us, you know, by posing for some of our videos. Now, this time I'm going to uh, use the other way. Okay, so I've made a copy of the original image. Okay, and uh, I'm going to apply heal plugin first. Okay, and uh, yeah, there you go. It's already done the trick. You can also use the space bar to see before and after. Yeah, it's cleaned up. What I'm going to use it, I'm going to click make mask on the right hand side top and apply. And you'll quickly see uh, a mask is created. So this is the mask which uh, Retouch for me has created. Uh, if I am happy with uh, the, the, the retouching, then I can merge it. Okay, so I'm going to merge the visible mask. The next, uh, so I'm going to make one more copy. I'm going to keep the original below and I'm going to add the dodge and burn mask. This time through a mask. Now, like I said, that mask will come through as a soft light layer. Okay, so let me go through it. Let me show you before and after. See the way so nicely, very, very intelligent, uh, you know, way of uh, doing that dodge and burn. I can promise you, it'll take months of practice to get that kind of control on your dodge and burn. And uh, see the way it's nicely started getting a nice mold. Okay, I'm going to apply it as a layer. So you got a layer here, correct? Now, go to the blending mode, apply it as a soft light. And you got the layer applied on it. If you want to play with the opacity, you can do that as well. In this case, 100% is what I liked. I'm going to merge it. I'm going to create another layer. Now, there are many other ways also, right? You can actually keep making groups and do this, this fine control uh, till the end before you merge all the layers. We can do that, but I've just, you know, trying to do it very quickly here. And uh, I'm going to add some dimensionality to the image. Okay, here you go. Uh, this time again, I'm going to use, so before and after fine tune i can add if i want a little more i can add more okay before and after i think i'll stay with the 100 only and add it as a soft layer so i got a soft layer here again i can control it uh, using the opacity i go down blend it using the soft light all right so i flatten the image just to take a look at the before and after this is how we started and this is how we ended it's I mean nothing less than magic I want to show you one more image if you have the patience and it is well it's my face I just got it shot because you know only moon has bigger craters than what I have on my skin, you know, on my face. So I thought it will be a very, very good example to start working on. And so straight away, heal tool, that's first. And I'm going to just apply. I'm not going to make different layers and work on opacity, etc. And here I go. All right. 
Now it picked everything except uh, this big one. You know this guy? It has not picked it, but okay. Okay, so let's see the original. So that's the original. And I have to under, I'm not making a mask. I'm going to apply it on the image. Okay, so now I have this image. Let me go and do the dodge and burn. All right. Dodge and burn. Again, apply to the original image. And finally, the portrait volumes. Okay, and apply. Now, three clicks. This is before and this is after. Superb. I wish I had a skin like that. Retouch for me is a paid software. It's a one-time payment and you have perpetual usage uh, rights on that. And uh, what we have done is we have added a link in our description. And if you use that link for your purchases, you will get a 20% discount on the price. So use it liberally, share it with your friends and, you know, make them all uh, aware of this interesting product. So let me quickly recap. Retouch for me is an AI based retouching software. They have a ton of options available. I have showcased only three of them here, the heal, the dodge and burn and the portrait volumes using which you know you can retouch the skin very, very convincingly. It can be used as a standalone software or as a plugin along with your uh, Photoshop. That's what we recommend. Well, all you have to do is to open your image which you want to retouch, apply these filters, three clicks and your image is ready to be used. Now, it works only on processed images like TIFF, JPEG and PNG, etc. If it's a raw file, of course, you have to first process the raw and bring it here. The most interesting thing is for all those people who are well versed with uh, Photoshop is that you can create action sets, okay, of this plugin usage and run batch uh, processing. So if you have a group of images which look very similar, uh, for example, you have hundreds of similar looking images from a catalog shoot and you want to retouch them put them all into one target folder, set the batch processing activated and show this as an action. Give an action, retouch for me, heal. And uh, by the time you come back from a coffee, your images will be ready. Also, we have some amazing news for you. Fundamentals of digital photography classes, which are about seven to eight to 10 hour long course is now available on our YouTube channel for just 500 rupees. They are available in Hindi, English and Marathi. Okay. If you were to buy it from our website, it will cost you 5,000 rupees. But on YouTube, you go to YouTube courses just, just above somewhere here in the playlist. There are about seven uh, episodes as in seven videos. The first video is free for you to watch. From the second video onwards, you will have to pay. The entire seven hours or seven videos put together will cost you only 500 rupees. Like Retouch for me, pay only once and it'll be yours for life. Choose your language, English, Hindi or Marathi. I'll be back with another interesting video very soon. Bye for now.